Donna, there is an event today to shed more light on the disappearance of your daughter. Can you tell us more about it, please? Yes, it will be held today at 3.30 on East State Fair and John R., the corner of Coventry. What's it all about? It's just to bring more awareness to where are the missing. You know, it's just not Tamla that's missing in the city of Detroit. It's other girls that's missing in the city of Detroit. And no one is talking about them. You know, I know myself, Sean, has been in the news for five years in regards to my child. You know, and I just want to know, where is she? No one vanishes from the face of the earth. Not a family member that you are in active relationship with, an active communication with on a daily basis, just somehow one day just vanished and no one has seen or heard from her since. No contact, nothing like Tamla. Tamla would never, ever go without contact, Re- ever. Refresh our memory about that day she went missing five years ago. Where was she and what happened? Well, I was told where she was. I'm not 100% sure as the pieces fall together somewhat, uh, that she was even there. You know, it was reported by her boyfriend that she left home at 9.30 that night, Monday night, which was August 6th of 2012, and not to be seen six. Now, my whole thing with that is to be in a relationship of 15 odd years, okay, uh, you don't know where your girlfriend is, you don't know where she went. You don't know what she was doing. You know what I'm saying? Why is the arrogantness? Why is the hate? Where does the where does all this coming from? We are in uh, trauma here, trying to search high and low for a young woman, a young mother, a two beautiful children, and you can shine no light. Something's bad wrong here. Something seriously wrong. You don't have to mention his name because he's not been charged with any crimes at this point five years in on this. But tell me, are you still in contact with him? No. Well, no. Uh, Briefly, I'm in contact with my granddaughter, uh, which is in the custody and the care of him, uh, which is very difficult because it's times where I can talk to her and it's times that I can't. But the messages that comes through an 11-year-old is just something no parent would ever put into a child. So I'm going to say vaguely, I don't know. You know, I'm not in any contact with him. He seems to hate my guts for whatever reason and my reason for why. I'm searching for my daughter. Uh, Why is the hate? Why is the attitude? Why is the, you know, the nastiness and arrogantness? I don't get it. You know, for someone who claims to have loved someone this long, has no concern of the day that they go to visit. Why is that? How often do you get updates from the police in this, and what's the latest update? Well, my latest update is still pending, of course. You know, we wait on that one person that would shine some light on this because someone has to know. If someone done something, someone knows about it. And I'm just praying and asking God today and so many other people that keep their ears and eyes open. And if that one person is out there, please stand up, speak up. You know, there's no, listen, I am not going to blame you for knowing. I just want to know. You know, and I know there is that one good Samaritan out there. It has to be. God has to lay his hands on one person. This has to be eating the soul of somebody other than myself and my family. You know, it's it's it's, it's sad that it's taken so long. But as you see, if all this stuff that's happening there in the city of Detroit makes my priority way to the back. You know, because there's so many other things that needs the attention right away. So where do the missing cases go? They go to the back burner. And especially when you're saying that this lady is old enough to make a decision of doing whatever she wants to do in life. That's true. But when you have an active member in your family, a loving person, and you're connected to her 100%, you don't just go vanish. All right. Tamika Wells disappeared five years ago. uh, Say again. Tamala Wells. Tamala Wells disappeared 
five years ago on this day. Donna Davis is her mother. You've never given up. You've never uh, stopped speaking out about this. And we're certainly praying for you and hoping for the best as always. And we will continue to talk. Thanks, Ms. Davis. I appreciate that so much. All right. Thank you for your time. Thank you, honey.